Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode right here, right here on V-City. Today we're going to be talking about a university that is just so hard to get into, like why? Just dissecting that a little bit and I'm going to be giving you some information on this university that you really, really need to know. This university is Kyoto University. It is Japan's second oldest university. And it's, I'm trying to give you a comparison right here. I'm trying to like compare it to something in the States. So Kyoto University is like Harvard. It's like the Harvard of Japan. Kyoto University is one of the top universities in all of Asia. As a matter of fact, you could argue, you could argue that this university is number one in Asia. They have the world's best researchers on the planet in this university, like chilling there. Like they have like the Justice League and the Avengers of intelligent people in this university. So when you're applying, it's difficult, it's hard, it's excruciating and it's, it's, it's painful. But if you get in, congratulations to you. Whatever you're looking for is probably in this university. So it's very competitive. A lot of other people are applying to this university. So they're very selective. They, 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 they pretty much handpick the people they want in their, in their school. So for this university, they do have entrance examination and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put for you the fees that are related to your entrance examination, your undergraduate tuition, housing, all that stuff. In the in in the video, I wanted to say the description below, but it's about I'd rather put that put it in the video that way you can have an idea. But the thing is that these values are in yen, so you are gonna have to translate that to to Canadian dollars or American dollars or or euros or wherever you are or pounds wherever you are in the world. These the, the values are in yen. I want to say that Kyoto is Kyoto is a is a small city and they have a gorgeous landscape, so that's a plus, right? And it doesn't get too cold in the winter. It's not too hot in the summer. It's like a perfect place for you to go and just study. The only thing is that in June and July, it rains a lot, maybe too much. There's a station nearby the school, but the thing about it is that you might as well just bike because the city's not big enough for you to bother buying a car. You, you can walk almost anywhere on well, okay, not walk, but you can bike almost anywhere in the city. One thing I have to emphasize is how nice people are in this place. People are actually quite friendly. And because it's like a university town, everybody kind of understands that people are just trying to get their ground and people are just here to, to study. So there's that vibe in the city and it, it's really nice. There's a whole lot of food. Oh my goodness. Delicious food for you to just enjoy. One of the good things about this university is that they have strong student unions and all these different things I'm telling you about, these are the things that make this school so powerful and that's why they, that's why it's difficult to get in. That's why it's just so hard because they have all these things at high standards. The student unions in the school, the, the clubs and councils are top notch, like state of the art. And how many universities put so much effort into making their clubs be this good? The city has a number of museums, shrines, temples, museums, shrines, <laughs> temples. It's very green. There's a lot of parks for everybody. So there's a lot of space you can chill and there's a lot of greenery, you know, in the city or in the town. And the good thing about this place is this. I know some of you are thinking, oh, but like Peter, oh, I don't speak Japanese, bro, sis, you don't have to speak Japanese. Pretty much everybody there speaks excellent English. And if your Japanese is crappy, people will help you. If your English is crappy, people will help you. It's that good. That's what I'm trying to say right here. These are the things that, okay, there's a lot of money. There's a lot of government, <laughs> government funding, and that helps the university. But what I'm trying to say here is this. If you travel halfway across the world or all the way across the world to go to this, the, this university, you will find the fact that language is not much of a barrier, not much of a problem for you. And if you even try to speak some, some of the native language, people will appreciate you for that. That's some advice I'd give to you. Try to learn something. So now the question would be, okay, Peter, you told me all these things. How do I even get into this place? Like you just said, it's hard. Here's the trick. Here's the trick. Go online and contact someone in the department you're trying to get into. 
all right? Have sufficient information like what I just gave you about the university, about the location, about what you want to study, and exactly why you want to study there. That way you don't sound like someone just code calling. And once you do that, co contacting someone in your department, it's easier. And the reason I'm telling you this is because there's countless people who have testified to using this method to get into the university. Because there are people out there in the school who are willing to give you some guidance, uh, some inf information, or take you somewhere, or help introduce you to someone else who could help you in your journey to this university. That's my advice for you. So yes, this university is difficult to get into, but with the information I gave you, and with you putting in your best to make sure that you're actually good, because you gotta write the entrance exam, and you gotta do well in that. But if you do combine these things and maybe call someone in the, in, your, in the department you want to get into and know exactly why you want to be there and you have the funds or maybe you are uh, covered by an agent, you're good to go. There you have it. Kyoto University, the Harvard of Asia. If you have questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, please, please, please. Also, I would say this. We have a Patreon, all right? We have a Patreon. That way, if you like what we're doing on this channel, if you have ideas, you can come, you can, you can, you can donate to us, and we will consider your, consider your ideas first. So, feel free to like, subscribe, comment below, and don't forget, we are here to bring to you the best content there is on the internet. Have yourself a wonderful day, and stay awesome, stay amazing.